Hello, 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 how's it going folks? It's Antar and today I am bringing you a UU battle against a fellow by the name of Schmatty is Gaming. Looking at his team, I'm really wishing I had someone on my team to set up Stealth Rocks considering he's got three Pokemon that are weak to them. Um, oh well, eh. Uh, yeah, you, you can't run every entry hazards on every team. Anyway, gonna lead off with El Cabanis. He leads off with his uh, Hound Doom, expecting me to lead off with my Roserade. Obviously, expecting me to switch. Uh, I go. Uh, he goes ahead of Nasty Plots. I go for the Sleep Powder. I'm Sash, so I wasn't really fearing anything. So he's now put to sleep. That's great for me, and I'm gonna be able to set up my Toxic Spike. Now I really don't have anything to do that I can do against this Hound Doom uh, with my Roserade. So basically, he's asleep for one turn. I go ahead and set up my. My, uh, second round of Toxic Spikes. Um, he's gonna go ahead and stay asleep here. And here I switch out. This was a stupid move. I have no idea in retrospect why I did this. I switch out into Ikea. I, I think I was thinking that he would wake up, go for the Fire Blast, and... But why? What the hell? What? I mean, he's got the Dark Pulse. This is so stupid of me. I have no idea what I was doing. Um, I went for the sub that turn, but yeah. Stupidity should be painful. And here it really, really was. Um, the correct switch would have been out to my, um, Hitmontop, who's slumming it from my OU team. I'm doing some changes on my teams. Anyway, uh, I missed the, uh, the Sleep Powder here. Completely screws me over, and now I'm gonna be down to my Focus Sash. Um, but I, you know, I am gonna get another chance to put him to sleep. But this stupid, stupid Hound Doom is just really... I mean, I, it's, the, the Hound Doom's not stupid, I was stupid. I just made such a humongous mistake right off the bat, and it's really gonna cost me dearly throughout this match. Anyway, I got into Pazuzu, my Zapdos. Now that he's asleep, I'm thinking I can do some nice things with, uh, phasing him out with Roar. Um, he's actually gonna go ahead and withdraw, go out into his Crobat. Again, really wish I had Stealth Rocks up as I go for the Roar, um, swap him out into his Hound Doom, who's going to stay asleep. Here, basically, I'm just going for a Roar strategy just to try to get some uh, Pokemon uh, fully poisoned. I actually go for the T-Bolt here, um, just basically to scout out how long he has. Uh, he wakes up this turn, goes for the Fire Blast, and that is going to... I mean, luckily he's... Uh, you know, not at plus two since I did roar him out, but thank god he's not at plus two considering how much damage that did. I go ahead and roar him out again. Out now is going to come Shaman. I'm thinking this is going to be okay. As long as he's not an offensive Shaman, I can go ahead and land and recover all my health, um, or recover a lot of health. Hopefully he doesn't have the hidden power ice. Unfortunately, he is the offensive Shaman. Looks like he does have the hidden power ice. It looks like he is going to take me out. So, really not good. Pazuzu is now dead, and I have lost two really important Pokemon on my team, and my Roserade is down to 1 HP. Not good. Not good at all. However, um, I'm going to go ahead here and send out Lusitania. Uh, I was expecting him to switch. He doesn't switch. I go for the Home Claws, um, and he's going to stay in, and he's going to go for the Earth Power. And it's not super effective, but it's not. You know, I'm not going to enjoy taking that. But I have gotten off the Home Claws. I do still have 99 HP. I'm hoping that I will outrun the majority of his team. I, I mean, obviously not Crobat, probably not Darmanitan if Darmanitan is Scarfed, but maybe I can do a decent chunk to him. Anyway, at plus one uh, with Hustle, I'm really expecting this to KO his Sonic. It does. No problem whatsoever. And that's great. Lusitania hopefully can get some kind of sweep up. So anyway, now out is going to come Roxy. I have no idea why my opponent did this. I mean, yeah, he's down to pretty low HP anyway. I go for the x Scissor. Not super effective, but it is going to be enough. Uh, he, I, yeah, I really don't know what his plan was there. That was kind of strange. Anyway, now he's had that Darmanitan. Uh, his Darmanitan is going to get uh, badly poisoned, but and it, it turns out it probably is Scarfed. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, that's the only way he would have outsped me. So he takes me out. So Lusitania is now down. Uh, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's not the worst. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and send out Cosmic F, my Hitmontop. It's a Technician Hitmontop running Rapid Spin, uh, and basically I'm trying to make the best use of Technician, what with Pursuit, would doing 60 damage if he doesn't switch. Uh, but the problem with Hitmontop, even though I'm running Adamant Max Attack, really does not have the firepower you really look for in a Pokemon like that, uh, you know, in that role. So, anyway, send out El Kabong as Death Fodder. He goes for the Brave Bird, 1 HP worth of recoil damage, I guess. Uh, he recovers back with Black Sludge, blah, blah, blah. I send out Mick, my Umbreon, and I'm just hoping that, I mean, I know that I can take a decent amount of hits from him. He goes for the Taunt, so this is running probably the standardish Gen 4 set of Taunt, uh, Brave Bird, Roost, and... 
I don't know what the fourth move is. Um, but obviously some kind of physical attacker. Um, I go for the payback here. Obviously I'm going to be slower. It's going to do a decent chunk. Not a great amount, but not an awful amount either. He's going to go for another Brave Bird here. He's just... He oh, yeah, the fourth move would be U-Turn. Um, so yeah, I go for the bra uh, the payback again, just racking up damage on him, but at any point he can just choose to roost, and with the payback mechanics, payback will not do as much damage. Anyway, here I actually do a pretty awesome prediction. I predict him to go for the U-turn, um, just thinking that he could get the KO and that way he could get out someone else. Uh, I actually go for the wish. Uh, yeah, my, so you'll notice that my Umbreon doesn't actually carry leftovers or anything. Uh, I think it, it's a Lumberry, um, because it's got the Synchro Lum thing, and it's kind of my Cleric. It's not really the best set, and I'll probably want to change it, but, you know, it's actually done fairly well for me in the past. Anyway, predicting the fake out, I go ahead and switch out into Hitmon Top. Uh, that does a lot of damage, but I'm going to recover back all of that damage thanks to Wish. Uh, and now my Hitmon Top is going to be my best choice to deal with this Curious. I go for the Pursuit on the Switch, and I um, think I get a crit here. It is going to be, yeah, I do get a crit, and it is going to be enough to take him out. So that is great. His Curious uh, Ambipom is now dead. Out's going to come his Birdie. This is the end of the battle. Uh, I mean, really nothing I can do, unless I'd gotten a crit on that um, bullet punch. He very wisely goes for the roost, uh, just going to recover back uh, almost all of his HP, and he sees I've really got nothing I can do against him, so at any point he can just go for the Brave Bird, take me out. So I go for the bullet punch here. Um, Again, really not doing very much damage. He goes with the Brave Bird, and that's going to be an easy KO, and he's still going to survive after the recoil damage. Oh, wait, no, I survive! I am sorry there. Uh, yeah, I survive with 10 HP. He's going to be able to take me out the next turn, no problem. Um, but yeah, I just... My only hope is getting a crit on Bullet Punch, and I just don't see it happening. Go for the Bullet Punch, and, yeah, as I said, doesn't, doesn't crit, doesn't KO. He goes ahead and goes for the Brave Bird, and now my only remaining Pokemon is going to be Mick, who is not going to be able to survive a bullet punch. Um, and, you know, at mixed range of health, it's not even going to be like he's going to KO himself. So, great game. Shmatty is gaming. Um, folks, sorry about the lackluster nature of this battle. That idiocy in the beginning of the battle really screwed me over. And you know what? Stupidity should be painful. So, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long, folks.